Glory to God, hallelujah. Oh my goodness, thank you Lord Jesus Christ. Another Sunday morning worship service, hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ is on the throne, glory to God. Say it with me, agape, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah, agape, amen. God is head over heels in love with you. I pray that you just had a blessed week, praise God. I pray that you were with us last night, Saturday night, in our worship service, justified. I know many of you, hallelujah. We're just, it's just reeling. I know I am off of that. Praise God. And I'm just so grateful that Holy Spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit, he is our God and he is our only teacher. Can I get an amen? Beloved church family, I'm a worshiper just like you. Glory to God, myself, pastor, the elders, all the leadership. We said yes to the Lord in answering his calling. Amen. We said yes to the Lord in performing the work, the good work, through Holy Spirit. He's the only one good, amen? And we said yes, but let's keep in mind that we only go through one perfect man, amen? We only put one, hallelujah. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Say it with me, Jesus Christ is Lord, glory to God. So this worship service, praise God, is one that I, I wanna say every worship service blows me away hallelujah regardless who's preaching it just the, the anointing of holy spirit just blows me away praise god and and that's what we're after is just blessing lord jesus christ amen amen just blessing lord jesus christ and allowing his presence hallelujah his holy spirit presence amen because when you bless god by lifting up the name of his perfect sacrifice get ready now hallelujah whoa get ready rejoice i mean god is going to do Beyond what you can comprehend or understand, beyond what you can think of, his presence, glory to God. Hallelujah. Say it with me. Abba, Father. Amen. He's a perfect father that loves you. Praise God. And I pray in this worship service that Holy Spirit gets such a hold of you. Amen. And that you, you, you will experience agape, his light shining through you like never before in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. As you can see up on the screen, it says, Lord Jesus Christ, the Great One. Now, this is one of the very few worship services that, glory to God, pray for me. Please pray for me. We're going to pray here in a moment. Pray for me. Pray for your pastors. Amen. Pray for the elders. Hallelujah. We're in a new season. Amen. And, and I will never stand here before you telling you that I know what I'm doing. I don't. I know nothing. I don't. All I know, glory to God, is Lord Jesus Christ came from heaven. God sent his perfect son, amen, through a virgin birth, amen, and he lived a perfect life. And the Lord Jesus Christ, he took upon himself all of the sin of this entire world, past, present, and future, and he died for me. This is all I know now, I'm telling you, this is all I know. And I know that my God loves me because Lord Jesus Christ freely gave up his spirit for me, forgave me, said mine, hallelujah. And I know that he loves me because Holy Spirit lives on the inside of me, inside of you. You have Jesus Christ as Lord, hallelujah. You have Holy Spirit who lives in you in every breath. And beloved church family, I'm going to ask us all at one time, let's do this together, to bless Lord Jesus Christ, amen, and to lift up the name of Lord Jesus and to allow Holy Spirit to flow through his holy temple, amen? Let's take a breath together. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And I say all that because these are one of those messages Holy Spirit gave me last night, this morning, and I was running with it. And then he said, stop. And you ever have that, you ever have those moments with the Lord when God tells you stop? Amen? Yeah. Right? <laughs> be still. Amen? And sometimes those are the hardest moments to so just be still. Right? Because you, you want to keep still, but you're anticipating to hear something from Holy Spirit. But sometimes it doesn't come right away. Can I get an amen? Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they may not come that day, that week, right? Many of us, hallelujah, brothers and sisters in Christ, we know. But that's where you just be still and your thoughts are consumed of the Holy One. His name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen? 
And when you, when you consume yourself with God's mercy through Christ our Lord, you are just overflowing, overwhelming, just, just in the overflow of Holy Spirit's presence in your life. And you just want to rejoice, amen? Rejoice! Because guess what? Hallelujah. I know many of you beat me to it. God goes before us. Hallelujah. So now God teaches us through his anointing. And how do we praise God? Are we just praising God that we live the gooder and gooder right now? You know, we're thankful for that. Amen. But we're praising God that his presence goes before us. Hallelujah. That his anointing, hallelujah, pushes evil far, far, far away from us. Amen. That his presence in his holy church, open arms community church, hallelujah, that the blood of Lord Jesus Christ is applied through every soul, hallelujah, glory to God, every beloved child of God, hallelujah, that his blood covers them all and nothing can come against us in Jesus' name, amen, do you believe that, hallelujah, let's give God praise, amen, glory to God. So I just wanted to mention the title to you and um, we're actually going to get deep into it, However, I also want to explain, after we pray, I also want to explain as far as what took place as, as Holy Spirit blessed us with this message. Amen? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ, your beloved, perfect, only Son, Father, our only way to you, Father God, who we receive fully. Lord Jesus Christ, you are our Lord, our Savior, our God. And I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you left heaven to come to this fallen world to fulfill everything that you said as the word of God and you are perfect and you fulfilled it, you completed it, Father. And I thank you so much that we are covered under your blood, under the new covenant. Holy Spirit, you are our God, you live in every one of us, Father. We worship you and we thank you, Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit, as we lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we welcome you. Teach us, O Lord, examine us, O Lord, Change us, O oh Lord. And Father God, I thank you right now that you rebuke me and you just use me as your mouthpiece, Father. I thank you so much, Father, that I am covered by your blood for all of eternity. I am thankful, Father God, for the beloved church family, the church body, your body, Lord Jesus Christ, that you blessed us with here at Open Arms Community Church. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you unified us through every thought, Father God, crucifying this flesh, and renewing our mind, being unified in agape, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And it's in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ that we pray, and all of God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Give somebody a high five. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you're by yourself, give yourself a high five. Amen. And don't forget the angels. Praise God. Give the angels a high five. Hallelujah. Amen. You can feel his presence all around you in Jesus' name. Most importantly, God is in you. Amen? So Lord Jesus Christ, the great one. So we're going to go because Holy Spirit said he wants me to just go ahead, go forward. And he's going to give us an opportunity to explain what took place. Praise God. Because once again, I confess to you, Holy Spirit is our only teacher. And I need your prayer. Beloved church family, I need your prayer. Pastor needs your prayer. All the elders, we need your prayer. Because I'm going to tell you right now, we battle with pride every day. Can I get an amen? We battle with disobedience every day. We battle with thoughts every day, right? And in, in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, we are unified together in Holy Spirit to lift one another up. Amen? Because remember, it's only in the presence of God Almighty that there is peace. Amen? And I just thank God for his peace that he left us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Say his name. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ, the great one. So we're going to go into this word great. And this is the gift that keeps on giving. Right away you can see the tone that Holy Spirit wants to set for us. Amen. For his holy church. This is the gift that keeps on giving. Amen. His name is, say it with me, church. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the gift that left heaven. Hallelujah. He is the seed of God that left heaven and was planted in this earth for three days. Amen. And in that resurrection power, hallelujah, that's you and me as a beloved child of God. Whoa, hallelujah. Anointed through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, it's not our righteousness. 
It's His righteousness. Amen? It's not our holiness. It's His holiness because He is the Holy One. Amen? Everything goes back to, say His name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? The next one is redeemed. Hallelujah. We are redeemed through Him. Amen? Can you say that with me? Redeemed through Him. Now, this is the moment right here where Holy Spirit said, stop. Glory to God. Because Lord Jesus Christ is the great one. Amen? He is the great one. And as you know, I love to run through it. Praise God. And I love it when Holy Spirit gives us not only every letter, but every letter. There's explanation. There's the written word. And there's a living word in us. Amen? But right here, God says, stop. And this is where, glory to God, just like you, when, when Holy Spirit tells you, hold on a minute, right? You ever have somebody do that to you? Like if you're driving or, you know, hold on, wait, right? Stop, let, let me get directions. Or, you know, if you're talking to somebody, right? Well, this is what happened. And God said, you can go back, you can go through what you have, but this isn't all that I want to talk about. And I said, well, glory to you, Father, whatever you want, hallelujah, your will be done, amen, in Jesus' name. Your will be done, Father. It's all about you. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do about Joey, John. It has nothing to do about any. It has nothing to do. We just want to lift up the name of Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So I'm going to go through this quickly. Eternally beloved in him. Hallelujah. When you have your identity through Christ, that you know that God redeemed you through his perfect sacrifice, Lord Jesus Christ, and that you know that you're covered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, the blood of God, you know that you are crucified in Christ, hallelujah. And as you're crucified in Christ, you also know that Holy Spirit resurrected you in the new life. Say it with me, new life, hallelujah, a new covenant, amen, covered by his blood. And you know that you are no longer alone, and hallelujah, that's why we said eternally beloved in him. Say it with me. I am a beloved child of God. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh, as much as that blesses me to say it, I just thank God that he gave me Lord Jesus Christ so that I can say it. Can I get an amen? That we can say that freely. I am a beloved child of God. God is my daddy. No one can take that away from you. Can I get an amen? Listen, beloved church family. I don't know if you're planted here or if you go somewhere else. But if you're listening to this message, don't let anyone touch that from you. God is a good and perfect father and he loves you. And you, all you got to do is look at Jesus. Can I get an amen? Look at Jesus. Hallelujah. Agape overflowing. A hey, agape overflowing when you have this eternal beloved identity glory to god that you know that you're redeemed oh my goodness your identity overflows can i get an amen i wish i had my care bear here with me so y'all can see my little care bear praise god but agape amen your identity overflows in jesus name meaning that you're not bible thumping you're not judging nobody you're not you're not pushing your own agenda you're just living an abundant life because you serve a father who loves you. Hallelujah. Who loves you. And you know what this, oh glory to God. You know this word love, hallelujah. It carries some weight in Jesus' name. And we're going to get to that. And then for the letter T, truth. The truth through glory. Say that with me. Truth through glory. And you know what the glory of God is. Hallelujah. Amen. Is agape in a beloved child. His view and opinion of who you are, beloved child of God. Amen. Let's pause right there. Let's pause right there. All serious. Right? You may be sitting there by yourself. You may be with family. You may be with children, maybe grandchildren. Right? I don't know. Glory to God. God orchestrated this exact moment right now. If you have to pause. <laughs> I love doing that. If you have to pause the video, pause it. But the question is. How does God view you? What's your opinion of how Father God views you? Amen? And it's in moments like this when you're transparent with Holy Spirit in worship, lifting up the name of Lord Jesus Christ, just being thankful. When you're transparent, God will tell you, well, why do you think that way? Why do you think that I'm holding anything against you? Why do you think that I'm upset at you? Look at Lord Jesus. Did he do a perfect work? Did he forgive you? Right? And those are those moments, Holy Spirit, oh, glory to God, because God, it's a relationship. Say that with me. Relationship. 
And it's in this relationship with God Almighty, as a beloved child of God, when you seek him first in everything, say it with me, everything, in everything, when you seek him first, God makes everything in your life clear. Hallelujah. It's like scales come off your eyes. You could see freely for the first time. Can I get an amen? So we went through that real quickly. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The gift that keeps on giving. Hallelujah. But this is what Holy Spirit says that he wanted to cover. He wanted to cover this part. Now the whole word, the whole word world put together is greatest. Amen. Greatest. But he wants EST. Glory to God. EST. Say this with me. EST means established established right you all you always see est i know that it can mean estimate too as well but this means established can you say that with me established so god wants to establish the greatest hallelujah say it with me the greatest amen and we're going to get into that right now the greatest and once again we're going to go into this and glory to god uh, holy spirit say this with me please holy spirit you are the teacher. Joey is not. Speak through him in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we're going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. And glory to God, this is all we have as far as the written word that we're going to go through. But in the name of Jesus, you're going to see as far as the magnitude of how the written word is alive. Amen. Most importantly, it's alive in you and it's alive in me. The written word, his name is, hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The temple of God, hallelujah, is right here. The holy of holies. Amen. And glory to God, Holy Spirit, our teacher, is going to teach us. Amen. And now these three remain. First of all, when we say, <laughs> praise God, you guys are so much fun. Agape. Amen. When we say agape, who is that? Hallelujah. Our God, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen, beloved church family, God already done told us, when I say us, pastor and I, the, the word doesn't change. Amen. And the message is we're going to keep on, praise God, because Holy Spirit has charged us. Amen. Not only to just continue to encourage his holy church, amen, through the anointing, the presence of the Holy Spirit within us, amen, and the body. Hallelujah. That Holy Spirit's presence flows freely. Glory to God. Amen. There is no religion in Open Arms Community Church. It's a relationship with our living God, our Father. How do you obtain that relationship with God the Father? Only through Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And how does that take place? When you receive Lord Jesus Christ. When you confess, I need you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, save me. Father God, forgive me. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm just calling on your name. However perfect prayer that you have prayed or you will pray right now in Jesus' name, Lord Jesus Christ, save me. Hallelujah. And the power of God Almighty will resurrect you. Hallelujah. Because you crucified yourself in the only one, in the only way, in the only truth of eternity. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And living this abundant life, you have Holy Spirit now. And Holy Spirit will be your comforter he is my comforter he is my teacher he is my god amen and hallelujah i belong to lord jesus christ for all of eternity hallelujah amen let's give god praise hallelujah so let's start now three of the three of these remain let's start with faith amen faith that keeps on say this with me believing hallelujah Faith that keeps on believing is the only one. You see it come up on your screen right there. What's his name? Lord Jesus Christ. He is the faith. Amen. Without Lord Jesus Christ, there is no faith. Bottom line, without Lord Jesus Christ, there is no faith. Lord Jesus Christ is the faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we talked about the greatest gift that keeps on giving. Hallelujah. And that greatest gift is God gave himself. Amen. From the beginning of time, God gave himself. Well, Pastor Joey explained. From the moment he spoke Lucifer. Yes, we went there. 
The moment he spoke Lucifer into existence, adorned him with all the jewels beyond what we can comprehend or even see or understand. When he spoke him into existence, when Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, made Lucifer, he had you and me in mind. Glory to God. God gave himself just so that we can be present. And for those of us who have loved ones, God bless them, hallelujah, that we, for those of us that have loved ones that moved on, amen, they're not dead, they're in perfection, hallelujah, they're in perfection. This only takes place through the only way, hallelujah, you beat me to it, what's his name? Lord Jesus Christ, right? And so we rejoice, amen, rejoice, we rejoice because of the fact that, hallelujah, that we are sealed for all of eternity. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. So we go through the greatest gift that God gave himself. God gave himself. And it came to the point where he said, son, you're going to have to go. Amen. Man, we talk about this all the time. You can picture Lord Jesus Christ, right? Before, before God spoke the word. Amen. Pastor, explain. What do you mean God spoke the word? You're talking about Lord Jesus up in heaven. What, what, what's going on? Remember, Gabriel talked to Mary, right? God was waiting for Mary to speak the word, be unto me according to thy word. Say that with me, thy word. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit says, let's take a break. Hallelujah. Let's take a break right now. And for all of us, as one body in Lord Jesus Christ, through the anointing of Holy Spirit, let's say this together. Amen. Father God, be unto me according to thy word in Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory to God. Praise God. A new season. Hallelujah. A new season. New blessings. Amen. Glory to God. Woo! Hallelujah. Now we talked about the greatest faith, what we just went through. Who is the faith? Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The greatest. So we went to the greatest gift. God gave himself. Right? God gave himself from the very beginning. Right? All he wanted was a relationship with his children. All he wanted was a relationship. Holy Spirit reminded me right now of a conversation that he had with Trish that brought us to tears. And right now it's happening. Amen. This moment that I'm referring to is when Trish was talking to the Lord and the Lord said, I am like that, that friend that has a swimming pool. And when the, when the weather is really, really hot and nobody has air conditioning, I'm everybody's best friend. Everybody wants to go swimming in the swimming pool. But then the moment that the weather is not, not hot anymore and it's cold outside, Nobody wants to talk to me or, 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 or even come around. And you know, that was so convicting in our lives for Trish and I, because just like you, glory to God, all we look forward to is to spend time with our Father. Now, I know that you could spend time, I hear this all the time, well, I could spend time with God anywhere, I can go fishing and spend time, I can do this and spend, I get that, okay? Please, in the name of Jesus, if you have that heart on you right now, rebuke it in Jesus' name. Amen? Because, believe it or not, that's a demon trying to speak to you and having it your way. Where I'm getting at is when you spend time with God, but it's not based on what you like to do, what you want to do, on your time. Can I get an amen? When you spend time with God because you know, Father, I have to be in your presence. I have to get in my secret place. I have to shut this door, and I just have to fall on my face, fall on my knees, and I just want to bless you, Father, because you are worthy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's moments like this when you just say, oh my goodness, Father God, all this is happening right now, but I don't care, because all I care about is blessing you, Heavenly Father, because I know when I bless you, your presence overflows in me and goes before me. And I want nothing more than your, your presence to go into my tomorrow, my next week. If we're not raptured in, in the next half an hour, Father, 
Just go. Just keep going. And I'm just going to keep on blessing you. Amen? Praise God. Say this with me. Hope that keeps on, say with me, trusting. Hallelujah. Hope that keeps on trusting. What is this hope? The greatest hope that you can think of? You nailed it. You beat me to it. Hope, the God of hope. His name is Holy Spirit. It's this resurrection power of God, amen, that promises us all of eternity. Amen. So I remember it's been probably a year now, maybe a little over a year. I don't know. I, I say it, and I'll say it all the time. The days are all bleeding into each other. Amen. Time is going back by so fast, right? And I, I say that because, beloved church family, we have to not only stay grounded in our relationship with Lord Jesus Christ in worship, but we also have to be alert. Amen? We have to be alert. Because as you know, with all this chaos going on, the enemy wants nothing more than for you to take your eyes off of Lord Jesus Christ. To get distracted and to go down a road you were never intended. See, the beauty of Holy Spirit in a beloved child of God if you have Jesus Christ as Lord, you have Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, agape. Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Can you hear an amen? Glory to God. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit will expose the enemy. And he is the one that blesses you with peace. Hallelujah. Say that with me. Peace. Hallelujah. Peace be with you in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Hallelujah. And it's the supernatural peace of God that provides us with the power, this manifested anointing that overflows, that we can overcome any situation or circumstance. Amen? Say it with me. Hope that keeps on trusting. Glory to God. And here you see the greatest. Amen? The greatest gift, God our Father. He gave us all of Him. Amen? We denied Him, right? We denied him. We didn't want nothing to do with him. Just continue to make a mess out of everything. Continue to. And glory to God, he gave us Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh. And glory to God, because of this flesh, this perfect man, agape, wrapped in the skin, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ divinely orchestrated by God the Father, led by Holy Spirit, did everything perfect for you and me so that we would be free from all that, amen? And it's because of his faith that not only because he's perfect in every way, but he took upon all the sins and gave us his righteousness. See, that's what God did when you called on him as Lord and Savior, when you called on God the Father to save you, when I called on Him to save me, God says, I take from you your old, amen, and I give you Lord Jesus, hallelujah. And it's in that transfer that now Holy Spirit, say His name, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit lives in you, lives in me, amen. And we strive to be a blessing to God Almighty in glorifying the name of Lord Jesus Christ. How do we glorify God? In the Holy of Holies. Amen. Say it with me. I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Say it with me. I am a temple of Holy Spirit. Say it with me. I am an eternal soul in my Father God. Amen. This is who you are. Hallelujah. So we talked about the greatest of all these. Amen. So these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. Hallelujah. So we see the greatest gift, we see the greatest faith, we see the greatest hope, and now God wants to talk about the greatest love. Amen? Say it with me. It, it, it popped up on the screen. Say it with me. Agape. Woo! Hallelujah! Agape! Amen? And this is how much God loves you. Praise God. And why do we continue almost every time, every worship service? Why? Why? Why do we do this? First of all, Holy Spirit said so. And another thing is, is that we have to know our identity in agape. Can I get an amen? We have to know our identity. Because it's in that God-purchased identity that the anointing of Holy Spirit will be blessed when we overflow with worship 
in thanksgiving, when we rejoice, hallelujah, and when we just lift up the name of Lord Jesus Christ and we're just thanking God for what he already done did. Amen? Agape means, praise God. He done did it. Hallelujah. Come on, can I get an amen, church? He done did it. Let's just give God praise. Amen? He done did it. Say it with me again. Agape. Hallelujah. God knows. God knows your heart when you say agape. Can I get an amen? Everybody listen. God knows every soul's heart, regardless of what comes out of their mouth, God knows. And all God is asking right now at this very moment is will you just cry out to Lord Jesus? Will you just bless him and say, thank you, Father. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Amen? I don't want to be, and I'm just, I can only speak for myself. I don't want to be a negative, crunchy complainer a grumbler, a gossiper. I don't want to be just looking at everybody else because I've been there. And all that manifests from that is crunchiness. All that manifests from that is not Holy Spirit fruit. And it's time to rebuke that in Jesus' name. Say it with me. I rebuke you, Satan, in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we know that agape is perfect, we're going to talk about this love. Can I get an amen? So we talked about the greatest gift that keeps on giving, faith that keeps on believing, hope that keeps on, say with me, trusting. Amen. Now we're going to talk about love that keeps on, hallelujah, worshiping. Amen. Love that keeps on worshiping. Amen. Say it with me. That's me. Amen. Hallelujah. That's you. That's me, hallelujah, love that keeps on worshiping, amen? So we got faith, hope, love, but the greatest, hallelujah, say it with me, but the greatest, hallelujah, say it like you mean it, but the greatest, hallelujah, glory to God, get loud with it, amen? If you choose not to, that's fine, do whatever Holy Spirit's telling you. I'm just asking you, for those of you who want to join with me, get loud with it, let's say it one more time, but the greatest, hallelujah, Oh, in this beloved building of Holy Spirit, I'll tell you right now, in this sanctuary, it's just echoing, hallelujah. But the greatest of these is, amen, love. Now remember, God says, I want to talk about the EST. I want to establish this in my beloved church. I want to establish this in every soul who has ears to hear, eyes to see, my glory. Amen. And the glory of God is he loves you. Amen. He loves you. You receive Lord Jesus Christ. You bless Holy Spirit. And God's anointing, his love will just keep on flooding you. Amen. Amen. And we talked about this greatest love. Amen. Now, if you recall, we're going to do some moving around on the screen. You'll see it on your screen. We started with Lord Jesus Christ, the great one. Amen. There is no if, ands, or buts. Amen. He is the holy one. He is the perfect one. He is the great one. Can I get an amen? His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's his name, Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ is the great one. Praise God. And God wants to talk about this love, this love that was nailed to the cross from the great one. His name is, hallelujah, many of you beat me. Lord Jesus Christ, the love that was nailed on that cross, amen? See, love has a name, hallelujah, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. See, what Holy Spirit does right now at moments like this, is he exposes the emotional love. He exposes the emotional love that wants to play games with the temple, that wants to put in lust, right? That wants to put in greed. Can I get an amen? Agape is exposing this foul thing, and if you allow God, and you say, Father God, I allow you, in Jesus' name, to cut the head off of this foul demon, in Jesus' name. Amen? Say it with me, love. It's in this love, it's in this love, this agape, this love, God is love, amen? This love, love is his name is Lord Jesus Christ. It's in this love that was nailed to the cross for you and me. 
And glory to God is in this love when we receive the love of God. The only way you can is through, hallelujah, agape himself, Lord Jesus Christ. And I know you can see this picture. I'll put it up on your screen. But I know you can see the picture of Lord Jesus Christ holding on to this beloved child. Amen? Just holding on. Yes, there will be a glorious day when that trumpet sounds and we are raptured out of here. In that very next breath, we're in the presence of God Almighty looking at Lord Jesus Christ eyeball to eyeball. And yes, that will take place. But I'm here to tell you, beloved church family, that if you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this already took place in you. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. This already happened. God has already sealed you. And God has already done this through you, in you, and goes before you for all of eternity. And his name is Holy Spirit. Amen. And this is the love that God wants us to continue to show the world. To show the world. Amen. To show the world agape. To show the world the love of the Father. The love of Lord Jesus Christ, the Son. And the love, agape, of Holy Spirit in you and in me. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So once again, we establish, because remember, the greatest we establish. The beauty of this message and all the messages Holy Spirit give us, glory to God. It's all for his glory, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We want none of it. We don't touch any of it. Amen. I'm not worthy to be standing here. Glory to God, but Lord Jesus Christ is worthy of everything, amen? And I'm thankful that I'm surrounded by brothers and sisters that said yes to the Lord, amen? That just said, yes, I'm here for you, Father. I'll serve at whatever capacity. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Bless them, O Lord. Bless them. Beyond their comprehension, flood them, Father God, with your Holy Spirit anointing overflowing in their life in Jesus' name. And I, I, I'm so grateful because I thought the message was going to be about great. And I, I showed that to you all because Holy Spirit allowed me to show you where it was going. And by the grace of God, and this is how sweet God is, he says, you can go on. <laughs> you can go on and finish it with the EST. Because I love it because I asked Holy Spirit as I was putting this together. Holy Spirit was, amen, I'm just a temple. I'm just a vessel. And as I was putting it together, I said, well, Holy Spirit, EST is established. We're going to be established in you, Father God because you gave us your perfect sacrifice, because you, you blessed us with Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus, because of what you've done, we are established in you. We are established, hallelujah. And I pray that you, you went through last night's worship service in Justified, amen. And, and please do, please, please, uh, please spend some time in that, praise God. And this is what Holy Spirit give us in closing, amen. Everybody, say it with me. Everybody, <laughs> praise God, everybody sees, amen, sees, and this is a powerful word, te telestai. This is what our beloved Lord Jesus Christ said when he was on that cross in excruciating pain beyond what we can comprehend or understand. And, and beloved church family, as, as I speak this word, the rain just started coming down. And I'm going to tell you right now, Lord Jesus Christ said, paid in full. Paid in full. It is finished. Hallelujah. And this is what God wants us to show the entire world. To show the entire world, I'm paid in full. I'm property of my God. Agape owns me. Lord Jesus Christ paid for me, amen? And it's in this anointing that his light, his presence, remember, it's all about blessing Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved church family, for those of you right now who are struggling with religion, trying to do this and that, listen, God is saying stop. Just be still and stop. Stop trying to do, 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 and just worship. And just worship in complete transparency. Just thanking God for, first of all, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God, that you saved me through Christ my Lord. Thank you, Father God, for your blood that covers me for all of eternity. Thank you, Father God. And it's in that thanksgiving, Holy Spirit, His presence, 
blesses the Holy of Holies. And as his presence overflows, he starts flowing through your mind. Hallelujah. He starts getting rid of things that don't belong. He's the one that puts it out. Amen. He's the one that puts it out. Shuts the door. Amen. And glory to God just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that this message bless you. Amen. Because as we discovered earlier when we started, Jesus Christ is the great one. However, Holy Spirit wants to close on this note. Agape, the greatest one. Amen. Out of faith, hope, and love, out of all that, the greatest is love. Why is the greatest love? <laughs> because it's God in you and it's God in me. Amen. And when we know that we have a Father who loves us and did what he did to save us, Holy Spirit blesses us with his presence to just show this world God loves you. We have a Father God that loves us. He gave us Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus died for us. He's not judging you. The enemy is the one that's heaping all this condemnation. Amen. Will you come back to the Father? Hallelujah. Will you come back into worship? Will you come back into fellowship? Amen. Let's bless God in this new season. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's the greatest one. It's the greatest love in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I pray that this message blessed your socks off. Hallelujah. I've been having a lot of church family asking me, when are we coming back? Believe me, church family, it's happening. It's, it's, it's going to happen. I know you know. But glory to God, lift up our elders. Amen. Because we do exactly what God tells the elders to do. Amen. And I'm, we're all so excited. Hallelujah. But remember, let's just keep blessing God. Hallelujah. And I thank you all for blessing God with your money. Amen. With your offering. Amen. We know it's his money. But glory to God, God blessed you with money. So that you have money. And I just thank you so much for blessing God with your first fruits. You can't outgive God our Father. Amen. And I encourage you. I encourage you right now in Jesus' name. Pray. Ask God, Father, I know I've, I've given you this much all this time, but is there something different you want me to do? Right? Is there more that you want me to give? Amen? What is it that you want me to give, Father? And I encourage you, go to OAC Church. You know that's our website, our church website. Amen? OACchurch.com. OACchurch.com. There you have all of our past messages. Praise God. And you have an offering tab that you can click on. You can give whatever is convenient for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm also going to put up here on the screen Sister Chrissy Lawson's address. And praise God, she's just being obedient to the Lord. And uh, we asked her permission. Praise God. Yeah, we ain't just going to do it to do it. <laughs> Hallelujah. God give us wisdom. Amen. And she said, share with the church family my address. And if they want to mail in their offering, so everything's secure, just so you know, it's going to where it needs to be. The bottom line is God knows your heart. Amen. God knows your heart. And that's what blesses God Almighty. Amen. When we just give cheerfully. For God loves a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for your agape overflowing. I thank you, Father, for the word that you spoke, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you came in the flesh. And Lord Jesus, you took it all upon yourself. Thank you, Lord, for saving us for all of eternity, Father. Thank you. Thank you that we're not going to hell. Thank you that we're not being separated from you. Thank you, Father, that this isn't life. Oh, hallelujah, Father God. But we thank you, Father God, even as we live this vapor of a life, that your, your presence, your anointing, Holy Spirit, you bless us. You're the only one good. And Father, your, your, your anointing just blesses us with the gooder and gooder, the, the more abundantly. And Father, we're just in awe of your more abundantly, and we thank you for that. So Father, bless all your beloved children that are sowing their seeds in offering. And Father, I thank you for blessing their offering a hundredfold, Father. And I thank you, Father, for blessing those that maybe right now they can't give or whatever, for whatever reason, Father. I thank you, Father God, for they have a heart to just fellowship and talk to you about this. And Father, I ask you to bless them so that they will have seeds to sow and they will have a great harvest, Father God, in the future. I thank you, Heavenly Father, once again, for you are good, you are kind, and you're perfect. 
And I thank you, Father God, for healing this land. I thank you, Father God, for taking us through this season that we are covered by your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, and that nothing can come against us or touch us because of you, Father God. So Holy Spirit, thank you once again for the word that you spoke through Christ our Lord. And we thank you, Father, for all of eternity. And all God's beloved said, amen, hallelujah. God bless you guys. Oh, hallelujah. Miss you guys so, so much. I thank God for you guys every day. Trish and I, we pray for you all every day. Boy, did I know you know. I thank you for your prayers. And um, remember Tuesday night, I am recovered. Hallelujah. And I just thank you guys for your participation in that. Listen, we just want to bless Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Remember, God is the only one good. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I love you. I miss you. God bless you guys. We'll see you soon. Amen. Mwah.